Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week. Let's get right into it. We have quite a few dramas going live or will go live this week. So, in the order of them going live, first, on February the 5th, a contemporary drama went live called Nu Shi de Ping Lady's character, a mango television series led by Liu Ming Tao, Wan Qian, Xing Fei. If you're familiar with these three actresses and their age range, you already kind of get the idea. It is yet another contemporary drama featuring three main female characters as the leads that we've seen being done so many times now in recent couple of years. A typical story of different age range office ladies who have to balance life and career. Such old tropey topics about women and working environment. The next drama went live one day after on February the 6th called Woman the Earth. English title Every Day and Night. It is another contemporary drama but that crosses a much bigger time frame led by Li Xiaoran and Li Naiwen on ITE and also CCTV1. And that means this drama is the type of drama that is suitable for most of the viewers, widest demographics. And it's a story that's focused on our main characters from the 80s leading up to 90s and early 2000s, crossing about three decades, the common people's life type of drama. And then three days after that, on the ninth Thursday, a drama has just gone live on ITE. The long-awaited period drama based on the famous author Ma Boyong's novel, Xian Wei Jing Xia de Da Ming. Right now the title is Under the Microscope. I think previously it's Ming Under the Microscope or Da Ming. Does not matter. It's Ming Dynasty Under <laughs> the Microscope, led by Zhang Ruoyun, Wang Yang, Qi Wei, and many, many very famous people. Also, people who have just shown up in other dramas very recently, such as the actor Wu Gang, who was one of the main characters in Kuang Biao Knockout. Also, there's this actor Zhang, sorry, I can't remember his name, I'll type it out here. He played Lei Zhicheng in Three Body, and immediately he shows up in this drama as one of the essential official characters in the story. It just shows you entertainment business is big, but also very small. So, the drama airs four episodes on the first day, and then it's gonna update pretty regularly, and it's gonna finish airing very quickly, since it's only four 14 episodes in total. A story about a mathematics genius is back in Ming Dynasty discovering his county's tax is wrong. Their own county has been paying for a hundred years a tax that they shouldn't be paying. And he discovered that and then he reported it up and then started to create a chain of really epic turmoils in the politics of things. This is based on real history back in Ming Dynasty and essential characters are shifted around. Uh, details of this case in the drama version is changed as compared to real history, but it did happen and it was a pretty epic journey that ran a decade or so more than that time of investigating of all kinds of dramas and eventually arriving at a conclusion that is a bit like expected, not so exciting, but somehow still, still, still has an ending. Real history is much more slower and complicated. The drama only has 14 episodes, so depending on how they're gonna do the dramatic version, plus there's a novel existing. So whether this adaptation is gonna tightly follow the novel or is it gonna have huge changes? Wait till we see. It's gonna be only one week and it will finish airing. Then we have two things that have scheduled. Both of them belong to Penguin. Tencent. The first one is supposed to go live on the 13th, one day before Valentine's Day, called Xia Hua, The Forbidden Flower, a contemporary drama led by Xu Rohan and Yan Changshu. Yeah, Jerry Yan. Can't believe it. He's the longest lasting F4 in terms of still being playing those roles at this age. Anyway, this is a romantic contemporary drama between a very young girl and um middle-aged man. For this type of drama, right, it's very sensitive. You, ha you have to just find the perfect casting and the great story to sell it. If you don't sell it well, it becomes even like morally questionable and people are gonna feel very uncomfortable about it. So totally depends on <laughs> the acting, the script, whether it works between these two actors. I am curious to see the result. The other drama that has been scheduled on Tencent will show up on February the 15th, one day after Valentine's Day. Somehow nobody will pick Valentine's Day itself. Why? Is that day jinxed or something? Anyway, it is the long-awaited fantasy period drama Chongzi, Journey of Chongzi. Pretty much it's like the remake 
of Journey of the Flower. Almost exact plot. A girl who was like naturally born with some kind of like evil spirit, but she's not aware of that one day got picked up by this master <laughs> cultivation guy, Yang Chaoyue, Xu Zhengxi, and then bringing her to their sort of places training her but then you know she's destined to to go wild and there's the good part and the bad part fighting pretty much exactly journey of the flower hua tiangu's setting after uh, how many years has it been because hua tiangu is like 14 15 drama so it's close to a decade like one year or two short of a decade honestly it is too old the type of story everybody has watched it and more than once of different mix and match of actors and specific story settings you get another one in 2023 <sighs> i don't know like just by hearing the story makes me feel exhausted we shall see very soon if it's gonna do anything like being able to make any splashes in the water of drama land then we also have a film that has announced during this week when it's gonna go into cinema middle of the year june the 22nd is the time it's gonna get released at least for now and it's the i've mentioned many times mystery thriller film Xiao Shi de Ta, lost in the stars led by Zhu Yilong, Nini, Wen Yong, Shan they've previously released a only having shots not having any lines trailer now they've released a new one where you do hear more about the plot you know more about it and i think it's kind of semi based on real cases which is a young couple who goes to Southeast Asia for a honeymoon or for some kind of like holiday and then the woman goes into a changing room and then never comes out and many years later the guy went to that country again and saw a performance of deformed humans and one of that is his fiance or girlfriend I think this is a real case actually I'm pretty sure it happened because I've read it on news it's pretty scary so the whole premise of the story is based on this real thing that did happen but obviously this is a thriller film so they're gonna take the creative license and go crazy with what really happened and why this is the case talking about movies we also have a film that has announced they've started shooting which is a film that has a really cute title nothing can't be undone by a hot pot that's a very long title chinese title is exactly that so also a very long title just by hearing the title you thought it's a gourmet film about eating and food but actually it's not this film is about four thieves at the backstage of a theater who have just finished a big job who are dividing their rewards happened to run into a murder and therefore got entangled in this murder sounds like a comedy plus a, a crime plus a little bit black comedy type of thing going on so the premise sounds pretty interesting and the film is led by Yang Mi, Yu Qian, Tian Yu Yu Ai Lei, Li Jiuxiao Just the idea and even the poster looks pretty interesting That kind of you don't really hope for it to perform great at box office type of film but you hope it actually will be really interesting Let's see if that can turn out to be the case Finally to cap on what we've had during this week The three body problem drama on Tencent they did the uh, give me money and I'll let you watch all the episodes thing they also announced the second season they will make it the dark forest I just hope they can keep the original crew including the writer adaptation writer because they've done a really good job of the first season it will be silly try to change the team now and dark forest will be humongously more difficult to make because of how crazy the stories start to spin and they really start to enter the more sci-fi area you're gonna have more special effects you're gonna have a lot of hardcore stuff like spaceship space battles <laughs> things that are burning money on the cgi end of things and then also the casting live action actor who can take on the role of luo ji because he is without a question for the male roles at least in the whole series of books the most beloved and also most important male role so who can be the actor right already china's internet has started basically voting for who can be the guy taking up this role so far i've heard the most popular choices are zhang yi hu ge wang kai qing hao zhang ruo yun people are just like <laughs> you know trying to push their favorite actors onto this if it's still the original crew and they still keep the attitude that they had in the past four years for working on the first series they can keep on doing this on the second one this role is gonna be humongous for this actor whoever that person is so 
But also they've announced, along with the Dark Forest, they're gonna make a spin-off. <laughs> Slightly worried about that. Only focused on Yu He Wei's role, Da Shi. And it's literally gonna be called Three Body Da Shi. That's gonna be focused on this policeman. Maybe talking a little bit about his past history and then about the gap or the kind of limbo time between he basically moved out of Wang Miao's life and entering before he entering Luo Ji's life. We shall see how, how well that's gonna work out because that would be completely original script writing. So these are the things I've collected during this week. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.